For nearly two years, I have been making Azalane content on this channel. There has been this type of comment that keeps on popping up, which is basically the claim that there is no point to the game. So this video is just giving my two cents on the matter and maybe shift some perspectives about the game. So what is the appeal of the game? You might be thinking, and yeah, that's definitely part of it. But for me, I enjoyed the gameplay, as simple as it is. Actually, that is a major reason why I like the game. It is because I don't have to think much when I play it. I started playing during the summer of 2020. I think everyone remembers how stressful that year was for everybody. I remember having to delete all my social media apps and cut out caffeine entirely from June that year all the way into the winter because my anxiety was just so out of control. I remember a moment in the summer where I just looked at my hands and they were shaking like crazy from anxiety. I remember playing Ghost of Tsushima after it was released and that game was the perfect game for a while. Its beautiful atmosphere and focus on meditation was very soothing. After some time passed, I would begin to notice my mind wandering and start to think about stressful things again while I was playing. I would play YouTube videos on the side to stop me from thinking and I believe it was a video that featured Takao that prompted me to check out the game. I wasn't entirely hooked right away and in fact I was sure I was going to delete the app after a few days. But after playing for a while and grinding every day until I ran out of oil and seeing my characters get stronger, I felt good. Number get bigger, I feel happy. <laughs> I'm a simple creature. I remember pulling Nagato during her rerun, which was happening during the first week of me playing, which was really neat. It was pretty cool to have a Sakura Empire event during the time I was playing Ghost of Tsushima. I guess Ghost of Tsushima kind of prompted me to like enjoy the sort of traditional Japanese aesthetics and culture. So that kind of helped with pulling me in to Azulane. But Nagato, she definitely carried me through most of the story. This all helped me hold on to the game and keep up with it for a while. One thing I noticed later on was that sometimes I didn't want to use my brain when I played games. I like games like Monster Hunter, Tekken, and the Souls series. And during this stressful time, I had to get stressed just playing them. Azulane was a way for me to occupy my mind from everything without having to endure stress that came with other games. I still find those games rewarding, but now I recognize that I need to be in the right mindset to play them. In a particularly difficult time, early 2021, I was feeling really depressed. I was still able to do my daily missions in Azalane, and during this time, Formidable's rerun event was running at this time. I really wanted her. To add to my sorrow a bit, I wasn't able to pull her during the duration of the event until the very last day. I think my cube count went to like 10, but I got her. I was so happy to see her surrounded by that beautiful gold screen. I know a lot of people might think it's not that deep, but to me, it really gave me hope that with enough effort, things will turn out okay. If I didn't get her, I don't know, I'd probably commit Sudoku. I'm kidding, I really wouldn't. <laughs> now, Azalane is a game I make a lot of content for. I enjoy the game still and I love seeing positive responses to my videos. It's really encouraging. While I make content for other things, Azalane I think will be the game that will never leave the channel. Heck, I'm brainstorming which waifu to get a tattoo of. That's how much I love the game and the characters. Now I left out some details, but that is the gist of how I became so connected to this game. It's a relaxing experience that is designed to stick with you for a long time. I don't know if I changed any perspectives with this, heck, this video just kind of turned into me opening up a bit about my personal experience with the game, but I really feel like sharing my story. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you're new as it helps the channel out a ton. Shout out to minboy 5 for supporting the channel, which is available, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.